12-year-old Georgia Birnbaum loves to dance. It gives you a lot of freedom to express yourself any way you want. You can do it any time you want. And like, you don't really need anything in dance. All you need is like, you. Her love of dancing is matched by her compassion for others. While working on a fifth grade assignment, she learned about the Coalition for the Homeless of Central Florida. I started thinking what it would be like to be homeless and what I would miss. And um, one of the things I thought about um, of what I would miss if I was homeless is dance. They've lost so much and dance especially gives self-confidence, which is something every child, especially children who are homeless, need. She approached her dance instructor, Dario Moore, and suggested they provide free dance lessons to children at the coalition. She said, Mr. Dario, would you? And as soon as she finished the sentence, I, my immediate response was, absolutely, I'm in. Next, Georgia took the idea to the Homeless Coalition. Oh, it wasn't a hard sell at all to start the program because we absolutely love opportunities to give our children here at the Coalition the artistic opportunities. The final all-important step was getting funding. And I wrote my first grant, the Pollination Project, and I got it. And so I, uh, it was for $1,000, and so I was able to start my first dance classes much sooner than I thought I would be able to. Here we go. The Dance Happy Project, as it is now called, hosts a one-hour class each week at the Homeless Coalition facility in Orlando. A lot of the kids are having exercise. A lot of the kids are having a mental exercise and release. Having come from a neighborhood that's not unlike their own, um, I understand some of their challenges. They actually look at me and they see themselves in me. Ethan, you wanna give us a step? If you're not putting your best effort on the floor, I call them out, I'm sorry. This is unacceptable. You need to do this a little bit better. It's stronger, no attitude. Is that a deal? Let's shake on it. So. I think it's gonna do things like building self-confidence. I believe it'll do things like encourage the kids to be responsible and, and accountable for their behaviors and actions. To learn to be forgiving, to learn to accept that sometimes life is difficult and hard, but there is hope so long as you're alive. So that's, that's what I'm trying to instill. I'm using dance as the vehicle to do those things. It can be challenging at times, but it's pretty exciting and it's, it's work worth doing. Good job. There are a couple stars that are over there. For example, uh, I bumped into a young lady. Her name is Brianna. Her effort is it's remarkable. Considering where she is, considering her circumstances, and the little that I know about her life story, the fact that she's able to get into the class and work as if this is her full-time job is impressive to me. I've offered her a full scholarship to come to the Center for Contemporary Dance so she could study here as a means of further mentoring her and providing her more opportunities to be filled with the option for hope. I would like to be a dancer one day because it makes me happy and it feels like I'm going to fly like up in the air. I think it boosts her confidence in who she is because a lot of times she gets bullied but being a part of the dance school is where she can express herself and just be who she was created to be. She's just a beautiful girl. Since Brianna started the dance classes, her grandmother has noticed other positive changes in Brianna. Her reading has improved a lot because she comes home, she reads two books a day so that she'll be able to go to dance class when it's time. And she gets tested on them in school, so she's doing pretty good. I love it, it's awesome just watching her just express herself, it's really nice. I'm happy for her. Well, I believe dancing helps our kids express themselves. You know, they're, they're homeless and a lot of them don't understand exactly what that means. All they know is something is different or there's just something going on and they might need an outlet, a creative, healthy outlet to just get those feelings and expressions out and this does that for them. Georgia has big plans for Dance Happy's future. My heart will always be for the homeless because that's where Dance Happy started, obviously, but it would be awesome to move with other people and um, expand it. So it's not only at the Homeless Coalition, but at the Boys and Girls Club and other places. And so not only do homeless children get this experience, but many other children. 
with uh, disadvantages. I love her effort, I love her hard work. So this program just falls in line with the Georgia that I know. What 11 or 12 year old would think of something like that? It gives me real hope for this generation. See full episodes of One Central Florida the first Thursday of each month at 8 p.m.